Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Always good to have you. Aren't we glad we're in 20... Guys, I feel like this is Jan, Feb. So please accept it, okay? One of the things that I never got to do is actually share with you because every single year when my anniversary happens, I always share with you the lessons that I've learned in that year of marriage. In January this year, we made four years of marriage and since I wasn't around, we push forward to now to have that conversation. So I wanted to share with you, I think this time we'll just keep it to the four since it's four years in celebration of that. I wanted to show with you four lessons or four things that I've learned now. And in case you're thinking, what about the past videos? I'm going to just link up so you can find them, okay? So four years of marriage. Um, so unlike the years before where all my lessons were about like the quotes we read and the things we learned and the uh, difficulties, I feel like this year is more calm. This year is more relaxed. Um, the other day, a friend of ours asked me, how is marriage and are you happy in marriage? And I answered by saying, you know what? My husband and I have found our rhythm. I don't think the answer is yes or no. We're unhappy or happy. We found our rhythm. We found, like, you know how you're paddling and everybody's paddling different sides? I feel like this year we learned how to paddle together. OK, and that's been because of efforts on both sides and all of that. But one of the first things that I learned or I can share with you as a lesson in marriage so far is the fact that I've preached about this. The thing of individual, find yourself in a marriage, blah, blah, blah. But I was I was in games. You know, I was in games. Now I really understood what it actually means. When I say find yourself in a relationship or do the individual you they don't mean the selfishness of like forget the other person and work on yourself what they really truly mean is work on who you're going to become for the marriage okay so let's say the marriage is a season where you're now going to be a mom a wife and that define it and define who flavia the wife is what are the standards? What's the no-go zone? What's the good, the bad? What's, what makes you, Flavia, the wife every single day? What can you pour into Flavia, the wife, every single day? Define you as a wife, not me as that person's wife. First, define yourself, your standard as a wife, right? Okay, uh, or as a husband. I know the men watch the channel as well. Um, whereas for me before, I think I had understood that lesson of find your individual self as being selfish, so I'd always find ways to just do things for me and find myself, follow my dreams. Da, da, da. And I'm like, oh, that didn't work. So what they truly, truly meant is that you find yourself in this season and define yourself in this season. So I did that. I reflected and I told myself, listen, forget the competition, forget the people out there, everybody giving opinions of what marriage should be like. What, what do you want marriage to be like for you what stresses you you know there are things that people talk about that stress them in a marriage and i'm like i know you want that to be my stress but friend me i'm very kawa with it you understand like i would like to complain so that i join you and we complain together but for me it doesn't hurt me the same way it hurts you so i found myself i found the things that make me happy in the marriage you understand what i mean seasons 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 hold on i should beat myself for not learning seasons, Ali. <laughs> Chapa! <laughs> you know, I get it. I was a teenager into my 20s, into my early 30s, just a go-getter, my career, traveling the world, blah, blah, blah. Wonderful. That was a season. When I entered the marriage season, I forgot to switch off and grow. I forgot to... Is it update? Yes, I forgot to update settings. <laughs> and I wanted the marriage to fit into the season I was holding on to. I wanted the marriage to fit into the season where I was hanging with my friends all the time. I wanted the marriage to fit into the season where I was doing things on my own time. I wanted the marriage to fit into the workload that I had. So the times when I could take on six jobs and be able to do them morning to evening, this is not the season for that because the season has to involve taking care of a child, taking care of a partner, taking care of a home, yeah, you can't take on the same workload. I forgot that. I forgot to update settings, you guy. And I'm sure even you who's judging me, you forgot to update your settings. So do it now secretly and pretend you had already done it. <laughs> Be or arrive for the season you're in, okay? And it's not weakness. Do you know what I mean? It's not weakness. If you can excel at all the other great things at your career, you can definitely, absolutely excel at marriage, at children. Okay, do it. Just say that the season I am in now, I cannot be in the gym in the morning because in the morning involves dropping a child to school. So I can't say, can you believe I can't work out? Because the time I used to go to work out, now these days I drop a child to school. 
excuses, darling, excuses. Just reset for the season, you know? Uh, if the season now involves you helping your partner out, get ready for work, don't start saying, I used to be an independent woman who got ready for work. Now I get somebody else ready for work. I cannot believe it. <laughs> it's the season, okay? It's the season. Find your own things to do, but arrive in the season, appreciate the season, and most of all, excel in the season, okay? I find it bliss that my entire day, and the hardest thing I have to do, and the thing that I must knock off my calendar, is to take Liam for swimming. As in, we wake up talking about it, we do it, and at the end of the day, I'm like, take, and I feel so accomplished because I took my son swimming. But he's in the pool, you're just sitting. And normally that would feel like redundant, but it's not. And don't take him swimming with a laptop and work. Just do that. Be in that season, okay? And that's, I know that sounds like, but that's a thing to learn about children. But no, it's not about just the children. It's a season of marriage. Even if you're married without children yet, learn that you're in a new season. What does that look like for you now? Who do you have to become to fit into this new season for you? The third lesson is that expectations and opinions of others don't matter. You're going to tell me, Flavia, that's obvious. Of course, it doesn't matter. But let's be honest. We listen. We read the comments. We care. When It might not even be a stranger on YouTube telling you something. It might not be a stranger on Instagram. It could be your mother giving you an opinion. It could be your father. It could be your brother having an opinion. It could be your best friend having an opinion, the close people who you actually care about, having an opinion about your marriage. Listen, you love them, leave them. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Their expectations and opinions really do not matter. The fact that, okay, you, you, you don't know when you're talking to people about stuff in their relationship, you don't know if they're gonna actually take it seriously, so you have to be very careful. Or you in the marriage learn that they can have an opinion, but it shouldn't matter. Define it for yourself. Have your own reasons. Make your own decisions, boss. Don't rely on, but what will my mother think? But my friend said this is not what it should look like. But you know, how will I fit into the society of girls who branch if this is the kind? Of... No, nobody cares. They're just saying that because they have an opinion. Don't leave your entire relationship or marriage with their expectations and their opinions. Also because they'll do this thing when you fail. Hey, hey, first we're joking. We didn't think you'd take us seriously. You, you mean you actually took our advice, eh, eh, you girl. <laughs> so just settle in and just the two of you discuss things, figure out what you want, leave us alone. Us online in rules, leave us. We're just talking like that. And the other lesson that I learned and probably something I'll touch on in a different vlog is finances. Huh? Finances. Money, money, money makes the world go round. So... Contrary to popular belief, I actually believe you should do money together in a marriage. He hear me out. How are you planning for your lives together, but isolating some aspects of your life together? Like, that confuses me a lot. Do you know what I mean? Like, I get it. My husband and I have separate companies, but we have roles in each other's companies. As in, it's okay to have your own caffeine, right? I mean, he's not on YouTube here with me. He's not speaking with me. So we're doing separate things. However, I feel like finances and the growth, like how you want to grow, whether it's business or purchasing um, assets or doing great things together. So how are you then saying, you do you, I do me in finances? That thing, yeah? I used to hear it a lot from women who'd advise me and go like, man, no, you know? Do your own thing, because men, men can become, even us women can become something. But if we're going to sit and talk to each other about growing, Okay, whether it be our children assets or ours or our future, how are we doing it separately? Do you know what I mean? Like, so I learned quickly that it's okay, by the way, it's okay to put things together and grow in the same direction. And when I mean grow together, I don't mean you can have a joint thing growing together and your own things, but have something together. Do you know what I mean? Have a pool where both of you agree that it's not that thing of our money, your money is our money and mine is mine. No. Everybody contribute and put together for your future. Do you know what I mean? I, I'm comfortable with it. It's one of the lessons I learned and I'm very okay with it. We pull money together and we grow in the same direction. Yes, I do my own things. It does his own things, but we agreed how we're going to grow as a family. And I feel like that's one of the things that is good for security in a relationship. Nothing speaks to security than our money. 
guy. I got you, you got me, if it involves cash, right? <laughs> so it might be, you know, unpopular, but I think you should go in the same direction by putting the money together, not doing your own side things and hiding them under the bed and under the pot and wherever you're hiding them, you guys, currently. Yeah. Bye. Thank you.